Hey guys, so this video is a simple video just to show you the code changes that you have to make to the uh, controller uh, in order to get the bullet time rolling. So uh, let me just show you the, the scripts that I have actually made the changes to. So the first one I would like to show is the head track script. So let me just go to the head track script. So that's we head track. Sorry, just double clicked on the wrong uh, script. So I'm, I, I'm just going to open the head track, not the head track editor. So let me just double click on that and it'll open up in Mono Develop. Okay. All right. So in the V head track script, if you scroll down, uh, you'll notice this uh, particular code change that I have done. I have commented out the transform.tag and instead, I have assigned a new tag called head track. So the reason I added this is uh, when you have head track, you have a sphere collider and that sphere collider is called uh, the sphere sensor. So when this goes and uh, hits some other trigger collider, uh, for example, let's say a generic action that's on auto action, uh, it'll, it'll make sure that uh, that effect is triggered because transform that tag will actually point to the player so it since the since a, 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 an object that belongs to the player layer has uh, interacted with that action it'll just make that action work so that's not going to be acceptable so it's more of a bug fix so we need to do this here and the second one uh, i would like you guys to go and fix is here in the inventory so in the v-inventory script, uh, all right, so in the v-inventory script, uh, uh, in at, at least in what you guys would have, uh, the time scale is just hard-coded to something like time scale, time dot time scale, time dot time scale equals one or something like that and that's not really going to cut it when we're going to have to work with uh, the bullet time add-on because once you access the inventory uh, halfway through bullet time you need to um, make sure that uh, you would you would be going back to the same time uh, time scale that you had before when you post it so you need to do this by adding a couple of variables so just add these two variables updated time scale and original time scale and then you need to scroll down to the control windows input method and under the enable first window you need to go and add this bit of code uh, just before the time dot time scale equals time scale while is open uh, statement and once you're done with that you need to scroll down a bit more and go into this else if statement and add this particular set of lines uh, right after the on open close inventory invoke false statement. So that's for the V inventory. And um, there is one more fix that you need to do. Uh, so the last change you need to do is to um, uh, expose a particular property in the V third person camera script. All right, so all you need to do is just scroll down and right after the variable declaration, just at this property so this is called culling distance uh, I'm not going to explain what culling distance is to you it's going to take some time so basically these three changes are the only changes that you need to do uh, to get started on uh, working with the bullet time effect so it's not going to take you much time and it's not actually changing any of the core code so these two for the head track are simply a fix and this is just exposing a value that is already being calculated for us in, in vector all right so once you guys uh, uh, are done with the code changes you can go on to the tutorial and start setting up the bullet time effect thank you